Okay, here's part two of the Big Daddy Press. We're going to shut the heat off. We are going to carefully empty the water and bring it over to our workstation. Okay, now we are going to oops, undo our wing nuts. Carefully lubricate the inside of our press with grapeseed oil. It's always good to lubricate metal on metal, especially with heat and cold and the expansion and all that. But one of the reasons that our products are superior to other presses is uh, ours are machined out of a solid piece of aircraft aluminum and uh, there are no seams anywhere for heat or anything to escape and um, everything fits together a lot nicer when it's machined a little hot okay so hopefully uh, hopefully you're getting everything ready while your press was being heated you gently place your material inside the press. One of the things you also want to make sure is these nuts here are level with each other and your press body is level. So you want to avoid having a uh, half cocked press body for when that cylinder comes up at 4,000 pounds you want everything to be level. Okay we're going to go ahead and stop with this amount here. We are going to wipe away the excess and maybe give it a little another wipe with oil. You know, notice there's a little notch here in case your lid should get stuck. It's perfect for a flathead screwdriver to give a little pop, but I'll show you that later. And with your towel, you will close it. It's a little hot. Tighten the wing nuts. And then pump your jack a couple times. Make sure it's seated underneath there. much out there. Let it down a bit, we tighten it. There you go. Make sure it's seated. Make sure your valve is fully closed to the right. Start pumping. And you want to pump until you can no longer pump anymore and then just stop. At this point you can either let it cool off normally or you can speed it up by replacing the pot of hot water with ice water, put the whole unit back upside down and let it cool before you open it. And we'll be back once this is cool to show you the unveiling and the final product.